Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about how to select plants for endophyte study. Now in this video lecture we are going to learn about what are endophytes and what is criteria for the plant selection for the endophytic study. And at last we are going to learn about which explants we have to select for the endophytic study. Now let's start with the introduction. Now endophytic organisms are the critical organisms in the environment residing in the plant tissues without showing any harmful effects on its host life cycle. The finding of endophytes in natural habitat has been insufficient due to some non-sporulating and non-culturable endophytes by traditional method. Several investigations on endophytes in plants have resulted in an excessive knowledge of the group. Now see, the endophytes are the very critical organism and they are staying in the environment mainly inside the plant tissues. Even though they are staying inside the plant tissues but they are not causing any harmful effects on the plants even though they are staying as a symbiont. The finding or the isolation and the identification of new endophytes in natural habitat is the toughest job nowadays because we don't have that much new techniques for the isolation for the sporulating and non-cultured microorganisms or endophytes. Criteria the criteria used for the selection and identification of plants by the local people have been investigated by researchers. Thus, currently there are mainly two hypotheses for the selection of plants, namely apparent hypothesis and non-apparent hypothesis. Apparent hypothesis involves shrubs and trees, while non-apparent hypothesis deals with the herbs. Apparent plant species in includes high molecular weight organic compounds with low toxicity, while Non-apparent plant harvest low molecular weight organic compounds with high toxicity and bioactivity. Now see the criteria used for the selection and identification of plants. It is acquired from the local people by the researchers. Because we know that local people knows much more information about the local plants. Because they are dealing with these plants in daily life. That's what researchers acquired this criteria from the local people. And according to the scientific knowledge, there are two hypotheses for the selection of plants for the endophytic study, apparent and non-apparent hypothesis. Now, in the apparent hypothesis, mainly shrubs and trees are studied, while non-apparent hypothesis mainly focused on the herbs. Apparent hypothesis or apparent plants mainly produces high molecular weight organic compounds and the toxicity is very low, while non-apparent herbs produces low molecular weight organic compounds but the toxicity and the bioactivity is very high. Now the criteria first. Plants from a distinct ecological environment niche and growing in unusual habitats and holding novel strategies for survival should be considered. Plants with an ethnobotanical antiquity and used for traditional medicines should be designated for study as creating endophytes may be the source of the medicinal stuffs of this plant. Now see, for the selection of plant, there is a first criteria. That first criteria says us that, that plant should be related with the district ecological environment niche and that plant should be growing in the unusual habitats and that plant should contain the novel strategies for their survival. For example, we can say the plants those are growing in the very hot environment or the plants where those are growing in the very uh, low temperature environment. The plants and next criteria that we have to use that plant should contain the ethnobotanical antiquity and the medicine use of that plant should be wide in nature. Because of that we can study this plant or the same plant for the different endophytes and that different endophytes we can study for the different diseases also. A criteria second is plants that are widespread having an unusual longevity or have occupied a certain prehistoric landmass are suitable for study. Plants growing in areas of great biodiversity have the prospect for housing endophytes with producers multiplicity. See, the first point is that the plant should be widespread in nature. For example, we have decided XYZ plant for the endophytic study and that plant is not available everywhere then how we can study that plant so for that purpose we have to see the widespread of that plant and the unusual longevity and next part that plant should have occupied the much more area next that plant should be available 
from the uh, many different areas for example for example the biodiversity of that plant for example we can say that western ghats of karnataka india or western ghats of india okay criteria third plants enclosed by pathogen infected and showing no symptoms are get house for endophytes fresh plant tissue is fit for isolation than older tissues which often contain many other fungi that make isolation of slow growing fungi easy yeah this is true for the plant selection we have to go with the healthy plants healthy plants without any infected plants or without any infected ex plant next the whatever the ex plants we are going to choose for our study that should be new one that should be healthy one that should not be older then and then we can isolate the new fungi or any novel fungi from isolates then now question arises after studying after selecting selecting the plant which ex plants we have to study there is still debate is going on which ex plants we have to study we have to go with the uh, leaves or we have to go with the flowers or fruits or stem or roots okay but according to literature survey what we have to do we have to study the ethnobotany and pharmacognosy of that ex plants for example we know that leaves are so much great in the ethnobotany and pharmacognosy and the roots also they are very great in nature that's what according to the ethnobotany and pharmacognosy we have to select the ex plant and then and then we have to go for that after selecting ex plant we have to store that ex plant at 4 degrees celsius and then and then go for the isolation of it otherwise we can go we can go for the authentication with consultation with experts and voucher specimens that is herbarium we can do the funds if you have any question you can comment or you can mail me thanks a lot